If you have more than a couple of Meshtastic radios that you need to configure, whether it's setting up channels, LoRa settings, or anything else, the Meshtastic CLI or command line interface provides a really fast and more direct way to do that for multiple radios when compared to using something like the phone app or the web client interface. So if I wanted to quickly set the channels for this radio right here, I'd plug it into the computer and I would use this command right in the command prompt using the Meshtastic CLI. And that's it, the node now has those channels configured. I could also change the owner name if I want using this command and it's done. You can also set multiple commands at once using what's called a YAML file. I'll go into how to kind of set this up, but to apply these settings to the radio, we would just use this command and it basically walks through that file, applying each of those settings that you've defined. And there we go, in one step, we have multiple settings applied to the radio. So I'm gonna walk you through how to install the Meshtastic Python CLI. That way you can explore this. There's a ton of different commands um, that you can walk through. And uh, I'm gonna show you just a few examples here. Now, you don't really need any experience with Python or you know using the command line, it's really it's pretty basic stuff. So I'm gonna kind of hold your hand through the whole process. All right, so for the installation part of it, I'm gonna be basically following along the Meshtastic documentation here. So I'll link to this below um, if you wanna kind of walk through step-by-step -step yourself. So the first thing you need to do is just make sure you have the serial drivers installed properly. I actually didn't need to do anything special for this. It was already good to go, but I'll link to this below if you're having problems with that. Essentially, if you're able to go to client.meshtastic.org and connect to your radio through serial, you should be good to go here. Next, you wanna check to see if you have Python installed. So just tap the Windows key, type in command prompt and open a command prompt window just like this. To see if you have Python installed, you'll type py space hyphen capital V and it'll show a Python version here if you do have it. If not, you can go to python.org, click on downloads and click on the download Python install manager button right here. There's a ton of different tutorials on there. I don't wanna to get too far diverted from the Mishtastic stuff, um, but you should be able to install Python there. And during that process, it should install pip as well, which is kind of like the package manager or install manager for Python. So we can go ahead and verify that pip is installed, pip3 space hyphen capital V. And by the way, if you do follow along the Meshtastic uh, website, there are little clipboard um, shortcuts right here to kind of copy each of these commands to make it a little bit quicker. So the next step is to install PyTap2. I honestly have no clue what that is. I'm just following the instructions here. So we can see I already have it installed on my computer. And the last step is to copy this command for installing the actual Meshtastic command line interface Python API. All right, so that takes about 10 seconds or so. And now you're basically good to go. So with your Meshtastic device plugged into your computer, go ahead and type in Meshtastic space hyphen hyphen info and tap enter. This is one of my favorite commands with the Meshtastic CLI. It gives you a huge report of information about the node you have plugged in. And it's really like a extremely clean, raw output of how the parameters are actually stored on the device here. So here's the top of the command right here, gives you the owner name, the short name, um, some info here. It gives you the node database um, that you know the node happens to have saved. So all the different radios that this node has discovered and saved in its database. Now there's actually a dedicated command for outputting a kind of more formatted uh, node database. So we could do meshtastic space hyphen hyphen nodes. And this looks a little weird because it's wrapping uh, the lines. So if I expand this, we'll see the, the format that it's actually intended as. So over here we have um, a nice table showing all the different nodes that we've discovered here. Now there's also a command to uh, reset the node database. So the Meshtastic command line interface is not just for like setting parameters, but it's actually to kind of have a full functionality of interaction with your node through a command line user interface. So if you think about 
everything that you can do with the app or the client web version, you can basically do that from command line as well. And of course, if you are um, familiar with programming in Python, the CLI is really just like a wrapper or sort of interface um, that uses the Python API underneath the hood um, to provide just kind of a, an easy way to send commands right from the command line. So you could, of course, create your own scripts and programs to interact with Meshtastic and your radio uh, while having it plugged into your computer. So if we go ahead and pull up the uh, info again, spelled that wrong, and we'll scroll back up here. So now we only see one node in the database, which is the actual node that we're plugged into. So we have all sorts of uh, different parameters. So we have device preferences, position, uh, whether GPS is, you know, enabled, not present, disabled, power, network, display, all your LoRa settings right here. We can see the region is on set right now. Bluetooth, security, then we have module preferences. So you might kind of recognize some similarities between all of the settings that you would see if you were you know, in your settings panel on the app or on the web. So it's all the actual parameters that are being saved when you interact and set those parameters through one of the client um, user interfaces. Now down here at the very bottom is something I really love looking at. So this is the raw data of the, the channels that we have set up here. So in the primary channel index zero, I have a custom channel alpha. The secondary channel slot I have set up with the public information and we could see the key AQ equal equal, which is um, the default public channel key and the name is empty. So we just have two quotes next to each other, which means there are no characters in that field. It's an empty field. And so that kind of puts to rest the um, how you know the apps show you know the android app shows long fast for the public channel iphone shows something different the web interface shows something different i did a whole video on um, sharing channels and kind of those differences and how to do it on those different um, interfaces if you want to check that out i'll link that below as well now under this we have a couple of urls so meshtastic has this really cool feature where it can save channel settings for your entire, all the different channels that you have set on a particular radio can be communicated via URL. And you can share that URL with someone else. They can scan it on their phone or whatever, and it will program those settings onto their device. So again, I did a whole video on this, um, which you should definitely check out after this one. So let's say we wanted to take these channel settings and apply them to a different radio. So I have another radio here in front of me that's you know not currently plugged in. If I wanted to share the channels from the one I do have plugged in to this one, we could just copy this URL. I could then unplug the radio that I currently have plugged in. I'll set that aside. I'll take this one, plug this one in. So we would use this command meshtastic space hyphen hyphen set URL all lowercase space and then the URL of the channel, uh, the channel settings. We tap enter, it connects to the radio. And now if we check, we've got those uh, channels set on this radio. So it's really fast. You can just plug in a radio, hit that command, and it's done. You unplug it, you put in your next one, so on and so forth. Now, what if you wanted to configure some other settings? So the if you look at the Python CLI documentation, so if you click this right here, it kind of walks you through all of the different um, arguments and commands that uh, you can use with the command line interface. Um, so this is the uh, get info one that we've been using. You can set the can message. You can get ringtone nodes we did. You can retrieve the QR code or the URL um, with, with a command right here. You can set channel parameters individually if you didn't wanna just overwrite the entire channel uh, database. And there's this kind of universal configuration command here that works with pretty much all the configuration value values that are 
uh, described in the configuration section right here. So for example, we could set the LoRa region and if we go up to the radio configuration and LoRa and we scroll down, this kind of shows you all of the different parameters or values, I should say, that you could apply to that setting. And another thing that I find kind of helpful is when you do that meshtastic um, hyphen hyphen info, it sort of lays out all of these parameters for you. So if we go up and try to find the LoRa section, so right here, this is under, this is under preferences and LoRa. And if we find the region, we can see it's currently um, has a value of unset. So if I wanted to, I could copy this command. We could paste it here, but instead of unset, I'm going to set it to US. Again, that's one of the possible uh, values that I could set there. So I'll go ahead and execute that command. It says it wrote that to the device. Now we could do meshtastic info again, um, or you can use a command like this using the get command and with a parameter of the um, whatever parameter you want to look up. Now this actually is returning an index, uh, which is a little confusing. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and do that meshtastic info command. And the string value, as you can see here, is US. So previously it was unset, now it's US. But what if you wanna set multiple parameters all at once without having to issue like individual commands? So there's actually an export configuration command that can create a YAML file um, of all of the nodes current configurations. That's a kind of a cool place to start because you can see the format and what that looks like. So I'm gonna copy that command. Now for this, we wanna actually navigate to a directory where we wanna save that, that file that's gonna be generated. So I'm gonna move to a different drive and then just do CD into a folder that I have here. Then I'll paste that command and now if I navigate to that folder in File Explorer, we can see this new file here. So this is what it looks like, and it, and it looks very similar to you know, some of the command prompts we were looking at or the, the output we were looking at. Um, so it's set up in a very similar way, showing all the different parameters that um, are saved on this device. Now, what I recommend doing, if you have a certain configuration that you want to um, save to a number of different devices, just narrow this down to only the parameters that you intentionally want to change. So for instance, uh, we do want to change all the channels. So we'll leave that there. So then we'll go to configuration. Uh, and again, you can kind of see how this is uh, organized here. So I'll expand configuration. I don't need to change any of these parameters here. So I'll literally just delete those. I don't need to change the hop limit. I don't need to change any of these. I just want to change the region and the uh, the channel number, which is actually the frequency slot. That's what's referred to as the frequency slot. And so eventually I'll get it whittled down to something like this. Now the owner name and the owner short name, you know, you could change that on every time you flash uh, the settings to a device. I, flash probably isn't the right word, but apply these settings to a new device and you can just save it each time. But we'll just go ahead and save that. And then we're gonna use the configure command right here to apply those settings to a new node. So I'll plug the new device into the USB cable. And again, you just wanna make sure you're in that same directory where that file is saved. I'll paste in the command. You know, you might have a different file name. So just make sure that that's correct. We'll tap enter and it's gonna step through each of those items in that YAML file and apply it to the radio. All right, so that was successful. Um, and it's really just a super quick way to apply a lot of settings, whether it's channels or any other setting to multiple meshtastic radios. Now you can get even more advanced with the Python API, um, which is what I've done with all the radios that we configure at Atlavox. Um, so it's a little more automated. So if you place an order on our Shopify store, all of the different modules that you select um, will be downloaded and kind of automatically in our configuration software um, when we go ahead and 
prepare your order and kind of finalize the, the last little bit of assembly. Um, so we install all of the modules for you that you select on either the Beacon or the M1. We make sure that they're enabled, configured. We flash the latest um, stable firmware version for you and we set custom owner names and things like that. So you basically get out of the box, ready to go. You just pair it to your phone. The only thing you need to do is attach the antenna and um, pair it to your phone and set the LoRa region. So if you wanna check out our products, you can go to atlavox.com and hopefully this video was helpful to uh, give you some additional ideas and context on the parameters that get saved to radios and um, how to change them really quickly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.